Davis and Ross were the good boys. Okay, mm -hmm. they 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 okay. Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality TV, and so much more as we go down a rabbit hole. And again, this is your home for the intelligent dissection of social media. And I am happy to be here with you guys today thank you for stopping by make sure you please like share and subscribe check out the playlist section i have almost 200 videos out there got some good stuff in there a lot of videos on diddy um some very eye-opening opinions about him uh from this uh psychic whether you believe in them or not i don't know but she did say some quite uh very interesting things that you might want to check that out in the playlist now let's get into this guy so there's some new allegations from this guy uh, he's a male worker i have to clean it up uh, for youtube as best i can so if some of the terms i use sound weird hey it's not my fault I gotta do what i gotta do but this guy is alleging some very interesting things and i'll let you be the the judge right because i have an opinion so far but you know it's not about me but we'll talk about it but we'll play this video then we're going to discuss it a little bit and then i want to hear what you guys think um now from what I've gathered, this guy is in a mental hospital, so I guess you can take it however you want to take it, right? But this video was actually done in 2018, so it's not that this is new, it's just new to us. So this is interesting, right? So I don't know if this is part of the delusion that comes while being in a mental institution. We don't know what led him there, but apparently uh, some people say that he was involved in a situation where he tried to pow pow at the Trump facility. OK, and so that possibly have led this guy here. But he's saying a lot of things very clear, uh, some of which I can imagine is true. But let's get into it. Enough talking. Let's go. What's wrong, Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call it. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boulet. The, the Boulet. Boulet. The Boulet is a branch of the mm -hmm. Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. I had a settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV, he was speaking and stuff. And I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes and I came back and I seen him for herpes and won. But they didn't, did Mark Erebus and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. So Mark Garibos used to be Michael Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a, yeah, he dropped Michael and they OD him, okay? He didn't overdose. They OD him because they keep the royalties of the music. Michael alone made $860 million alone last year. What happened is Davis and Ross, which they're good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. they, they, they're gay. Who? Both Diddy and Ross and Cattle. They're all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and P. Diddy? Yeah. They're all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Kelly is a Hamas supporter. Who okay. no supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I say the wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Hamas supporter. Okay. All right. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian. Okay. 
um, the Ciroc agenda, okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on our yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Chupac killed. Because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up, and then people listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous. Okay, that's how they do it. All right. Um, Chupac's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is um, the hip hop agenda is an agenda to improve drugs law in the United States. Mm -hmm. they move, you need to involve the DA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by. by uh, by customs, by, by the yeah, by okay. the inside the United States, okay, they they move what's called high grade power MDMA. They move cocaine and they move uh, liquid cocaine in the bottles too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move. I see the liquid cocaine. I'm tracking myself having sex with Diddy and Cassie. Okay, it's not good. He drinks it all the time. Okay, so yeah, we have a lot to unpack, um, man. So I'm gonna hopefully not get banned here, but I do just wanna address the things in which he said, right? So these are all allegations, it's all alleged. Of course, I was definitely not there, but let's kinda, again, unpack this. So he called out Diddy for being gay, of course, uh, Rick Ross. I guess we all remember that infamous picture of them looking like they were about to kiss. But they was, you know, truthfully, they said it was not really the case. It was just the angle, right? It was just the angle. But it looked like they were definitely extremely close for comfort as men. But OK. And then also Khaled. I'm not surprised there. All alleged. And then he mentioned the fact that, you know, Diddy is part of the boule. Now, for those who know, you know. There is an organization that does exist with a lot of your famous black people, uh, be it celebrities in whatever field. So it could be anything. It's just a group of folks that promote each other. So if you're part of the team, hey, you know what? A lot of opportunities open up to you. So I do know that to be true. Now, granted, it's not widespread news, but that is true. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, if you know who that is, is one of the. Of people that's involved in that amongst many 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 of our so-called celebrities so that i give him that he mentioned that he caught a std which kind of makes sense because you know allegedly uh, usher also contracted that again this is all alleged and we know that he was romantically linked with diddy so that's interesting. And let's just keep one thing in mind as well. This is 2018. This is not new. Now, granted, he's in a mental hospital. So I don't know what brought him there, but his recollection of these events is pretty clear. Now, he could just be making this up. He could have just heard this through the grapevine. But it's pretty clear that he does believe this to be true. Um, he talks about, you know, moving the drugs in private jets or private yachts. That could be true because they don't get checked. Um, I'm sure they're not screened as much as if you have a tanker or however other means to transport things into the country. So I can see that being true. It's possible. And if you have a, a yacht, obviously you're big wig. So people probably just let you just slide on by the water and you can use uh, different means to do that. Uh, speaking of the liquid cocaine in bottles, I believe that's possible too. That's very true. So he said a lot of things. So again, I can't confirm or deny what he's saying, but hmm, something to it. And then, of course, he said he was, uh, you know, I guess a, a participant in the freak offs for Cassie. Now, that's a little dicey only because we know Diddy's preference in men, according to Cassie's 35 page dossier. So I'm thinking 
Diddy prefers, according to the document, black men. Okay, he doesn't fit the bill. Um, he's definitely not black. And I don't know that he fits the look, but you never know. Right. We can't put anything past anybody. So I want to know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Again, I'm just leaving my opinion out of this one. This is just what he uh, has said. Um, I've learned in the comments so far that this guy was uh, attempting to do a, a pop pop on Trump. And this landed him in this uh, position he's in today. So if he is crazy, hmm, he has excellent recall. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. Until next time. Peace and blessings. Who was real with me in time I came to see? Who was there for me? They say, hold up, wait up, but for what? But for what? Only back it down, they never show up. No. When you need them, only around if you can feed them. Yep. Show you no love no. when you blow up and pull up. Pull up. Wanna ride around?